another classification of remote sensing system called as passive remote sensing system and active remote sensing system now passive remote sensing system is when uh, the earth gets its energy or electromagnetic spectrum from the uh, from the sun and the same energy is reflected by the earth which is uh, recorded on the sensor placed on satellite now uh, it may be as i already told you that it may be for the visible wavelengths uh, it may be reflected for the visible wavelengths or it may be absorbed and then re-emitted in the form of thermal infrared as in the previous slide we discussed discussed about this thing and the examples of sensors which are passive sensors are LIS-4 and Landsat OLI means Landsat Operational Land Imager. This is an Indian sensor and this is an uh, this is US based sensor. Now active remote sensing where satellite you know it is it throws its own source of energy on the earth which is then reflected as backscatter coefficient to the uh, satellite and the sensor that is placed on the satellite records back that backscatter coefficient and forms an image to make remote sensing happen. So uh, the examples to quote for active remote sensing are laser fluor sen fluoro sensor and synthetic aperture radar. Now uh, we have another uh, classification of uh, remote sensing uh, that is multispectral and hyperspectral remote sensing. Multispectral as the name itself indicates it's multi means it has uh, more than two or three uh, you know bands pertaining to different wavelengths and hyperspectral is uh, uh, having the bands which uh, may be more than 10 and goes up to hundreds of bands pertaining to different wavelengths. So in a way you can say you, uh, that the information that is captured is captured for certain wavelengths and the, there is no continuity because you have very little bands to capture the energy so very few bands you can see here very few there are discrete bands very few bands are there to cap capture the energy now in this case hyperspectral as you have a as you have whole lot of bands pertaining to diff many sets of wavelengths so in a way you can say there is the gap in between the wavelengths that are captured in hyperspectral remote sensing is very very less and almost each uh, main wavelength band is captured on the sensor so we can have the information amount of information captured in hyperspectral remote sensing is uh, very huge and uh, in in case of multispectral there are some lim limitations as the information uh, is available in very narrow dis and discrete bands now uh, what are the uh, examples of uh, as I already told you that multispectral has 3 to 10 bands and hyperspectral has more than 10 bands and examples may be satellite Landsat in case of multispectral Landsat MSS Landsat TM and Landsat ETM ALOS Pulsar and then SPOT ICNOS QuickBird OBVIEW Digital Globe Worldview and Aerial Photography are the examples of multispectral uh, sensors then we have uh, some hyperspectral sensors such as MODIS MERIS of NVSAT MOS of IRS Indian Remote Sensing Satellite 3P Hyperion EO1 CRIS Everest DIES and HIDIES uh, which uh, belongs to USA these are examples of hyper hyperspectral uh, spectral remote sensing sensors now we have another classification um, uh, of satellite orbits based on how they uh, uh, revolve around the earth we have geostationary satellites which are placed at an altitude of 35,800 kilometers and they are equatorial and they uh, you know re re revolve around the earth with a particular focus on any area 
you can see geostationary satellites are which orbit the earth once one per uh, once per day they therefore roughly stay over the same part of the planet uh, like if India has its geostationary uh, satellite it will focus its orientation towards India and will keep on rotating uh, along uh, with the uh, rotation of the earth uh, so that it always uh, it takes a round uh, with the speed of the earth and uh, remains always focused on the Indian subcontinent providing the required information. Now we have polar orbiting satellites these are mostly earth orbiting satellites uh, earth observation satellites these are placed at an altitude of 700 and 900 uh, kilometers uh, above the uh, surface of the earth and these uh, orbit from you know north pole to south pole these orbit from north pole to south pole so in a way uh, the while the uh, polar orbiting satellite is taking rounds around the earth earth itself is uh, rotating so every time uh, it uh, you know uh, completes one orbit it uh, takes a picture of a different area uh, because of the rotation of the earth then we have uh, you know communication satellites uh, are uh, geosynchronous uh, having geosynchronous orbit geo means earth synchronous means moving at the same rate so it's moving at the same rate as the earth this means that satellite always stays over one spot i already told you about uh, this thing the area on the earth that it can see is called the satellite satellites footprint like if it always focuses on indian subcontinent to uh, get the information from uh, that subcontinent we call that as footprint now we have different kinds of platforms where these sensors are may be placed to get the information or uh, where the remote sensing takes place we have uh, ground based ground based platforms like we have some cranes on which uh, the sensor is placed and uh, we may raise the crane up to a certain elevation uh, from the ground and take the uh, images or capture the information uh, we also have uh, the cameras that are also ground based we may have low altitude data such as low flying uh, choppers or um, aeroplanes we can have high, alt high altitude data uh, which may be you know airborne these two are known as airborne platforms these are the ground borne platforms and we also have space borne platforms which is placed in the space just like the satellite on which a sensor is placed and the sensor uh, satellite revolves around the earth and the sensor keeps on capturing the image so we have remote sensing platforms basically ranging from 1 meter to 36 kilometer in height. Now this is the representation of space borne platform, this is airborne platform and this is ground borne platform as I already told you. Uh, 